your whole life you've been told there's a separation of church and church and state no 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 there's a there's a separation of church and state that's what wooden teeth said doesn't matter if they if they meant it back then these days i, I mean clearly they didn't look at all the imagery with the founding fathers and all that history it's uh, reeking religiosity i mean you could puke from it reeking just look at this look at the olympic ceremony right here an exposé of the world religion not even the world religion though the governments of the world their religion they are super 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 religious you'd actually lose your mind if you knew how religious they were you would scream and you'd pull your hair out even mocking a religion let's say christianity for example to mock christianity is a religious right or a religious action so what are you guys talking about? You guys talking about uh, the Last Supper and you had a guy's balls hanging out? So all the children that watched it got molested, in other words? Hey, Dad, what's that, what's that nutty sack in between that you-know-what's legs? I say, sir, son, my sons, I'm teaching my sons who are doing sex ed while we're watching the ceremony um, with the, the homosexual with the balls out. And I was like, that's a homosexual. And I say, in between his legs, that's, um, that's a tea bag. And what they do is they dip, they dip their nutty ball bag into each other's mouths because it's so good. It's so good. You dip in your hairy bean bag in a, in a guy's mouth, you can't believe how good that is. That's just so good. I say, you'll learn about that. You'll learn about that in a few months. It was a good opportunity to teach my sons about sex education. I mean, they're about there where you start teaching sex ed. They're like three. So it's about time to start talking to them about sex, of course. To do otherwise would be weird, honestly. People usually get taught about sex when they're two, three years old, something like that, in some circles. The circles that make the opening ceremonies, their circles. That's when they started sex, when they were two, three. Who knows? Who knows? Drag queens, excuse me? What's your problem with drag queens? Whoa, that's not gonna clear the air. What's your problem with drag queens? Parent drag parody of Last Supper. You better off just not watching it. I wouldn't dare watch that. I'd rather die. But there seems to be a lot of stuff going on these days. Like, I started seeing things like this a few years back. And um, there's some controversy. So there was always good topics, you know, the, the, the doctor, disrespect, whatever. I mean, I'm, I, I really do not... I really make it a point not to specifically weigh in on, on certain matters unless it's, unless it's productive or conducive to, to wisdom that I do so. Because for starters, you don't even know if it even happened. The whole news cycle could be AI-generated. These people might not even exist. You don't know. Now I know that's I know that's a, I know that's a crazy direction to come from. I, I, I really do. I understand that it's a wild direction to come from, but that's the way it is. It's not easy to weigh on weigh in on things when you're dealing with celebrities. You know, celebrities are actors, right? You know that there's a script when you're an actor, and you know your job is is your life. It's a lifetime position. These are actors. These are symbols. They play roles. The roles are from some religious institution, some set of rites, some, some mystery initiation. I don't know, I don't pretend to understand. Well, I don't understand enough, but I don't pretend to be able to lecture about it. These people play roles, the roles are very specific. And I see a lot of people complaining about this guy right here. Um, do, I don't know, he's talking to people, some sexual manner. First of all, these people are celebrities and they're actors. There's a script. I'm talking generally speaking, not this guy in particular, not anyone in particular. Celebrities, the, the triple, the A-listers, if you knew how they live their lives, you'd be hunting them. So the stuff that comes out is just a pale, a pale shadow. But, I mean, you want to talk about this guy? Oh, you know, he was texting. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Look at him. Do you need to go any further than that? This guy, you know, he was, he was talking to this, this kid or something and the, and yeah, this is like, or, or not a kid, but I, I have no idea. Someone that had also been rapped when they were children. Obviously, there's more than one problem going on here, okay? And it has, an, it has a nothing to do with who's on the f on the other end. Look at the way this guy looks. Obviously, he's been raped. Big surprise! There's, all, there's a certain level of participation if you're really going to get down in it and talk about personal lives of celebrities there's a certain level of distance you have to maintain what's the what's the problem oh the problem is is that he was he was talking to this oh really that that's the problem the problem isn't that he he's he's a big an influential figurehead and in, in nickelodeon and on the internet marketed to children looking the way he does that's the biggest problem. i don't give a f who 
who he was talking to on the other end. Are you kidding me? I don't give a damn about this and that. Oh, there's a Discord leak. Oh, oh now people know Discord's designed to uh, as, a, as a blackmail collection tool, just like everything. And di digital, everything, people are finally starting to, to realize that, I guess. But it's not like this was unintentional. These are scripted. This doesn't come out by mistake. He's too, he's a huge name. If it's, if it's an association with Mr. Beast. These things, these things are planned. These are scripts. These things don't come out. They come out intentionally during the news cycle. I, I couldn't, it, to, as distraction, I don't know. I have no idea. Who cares? Big surprise, he, he's, he's weird or whatever. I don't know. I have no idea. Big surprise. Goes without being said. Look at him. You didn't have to tell me. It's pretty obvious. Pretty obvious he might not have been all normal or all there. It's, it's kind of obvious, isn't it? A little bit? That he's not all there. He's an influence to children. Look at him. Look at him. I'm supposed to worry about everyone. Ah, uh, you know, this guy was talking to this, uh, this guy was talking to his mother. He was dating his mother when he was like two months old or something. I'm like this. Yeah, he, that guy needs to lose his job. Like I give a damn about all, all, of, the, all of those hauntings. Like I want to get haunted by these freak shows, freaking phones. Dude, you'd blast yourself if you, if you scrolled through their phones. You'd literally jump, you'd jump into traffic. Big surprise. Oh, wait, I didn't think he was going to be like that. Dude, big surprise. Let's see what happens. Nothing? Ooh. What, what's he going to wait? You know, five years, six years, seven years, and he'll make, a, make it a comeback? Eight years, nine years, ten, whatever, he comes back? Hey, 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 hey. No, it doesn't matter. Let's see what comes of it. Huh? Let's see what comes of it. Whatever he was doing, let's see what comes of it. Okay? Let's see what comes of it. B mark this down. Mark this down and check back in a few years or whatever, just like any assassination stuff in politics. Let's, why don't you wait a, wait a, you know, let me know what comes of it. Let me know how bad and let me know how bad and illegal everything was. And dude, you have to understand. Hey, how do you, how do you get more true to yourself? I mean, Let's hear if it. If your, if your way to confidence is to wear a dress, wear a dress. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Hey, that's pretty good advice. That's pretty good advice to children. I give my sons that advice all the time. They can't talk yet, but I still, I point at the dress. I'm like this, you're going to be wearing that one. How do you find, how do you get more true? How do you accept yourself? Do you make yourself better? Do you, uh, you know, find meaning in life? Do you look towards God? Do you, do you read? Uh, I, well, I mean, I mean, in philosophy, I hate philosophy, but I'm just thinking, thinking out loud. Do you improve yourself? Do you, I mean, read, read the, I mean, it doesn't have to be the Bible, just some sort of piece, some sort of thing that can act as a mirror so you can, you can have some introspection. No, no, it's put on a dress. Really? That's why I wanted to come to your show to Interesting. be able to get a hold of my narrative again. I'd like to be able to have access to more children, to be honest with you. Oh, why? God. Why exactly? They're just so cute. They're just so cute, honestly. I probably could have gotten through the process a little faster. Yeah. But everybody... Everybody gets to at their own pace. Do you feel like after coming out... Do you feel like you would like have, have sex with a guy with down. my hair in or my nose time. piercings or jewelry or ink or, or paintings in the back? Dude, this guy got his tattoos at the ice cream parlor. <laughs> This, this is who I am. not a curse. It's a blessing. No, like, it's actually a blessing. I, I can finally be myself. Or did you? Isn't it crazy how he found himself? Like, he doesn't look that old. Usually guys that are on their deathbed or, you know, they're old guys are like, yeah, yeah, if I, if I started to learn. How did this guy do it? He's so young. He's just sassy, though. He's really sassy, which is nice. I don't want to hear any. I don't want to hear this guy's voice. I don't want to hear anybody else's voice. I, I, we shouldn't even be looking at any more of this. This is going to make us crazy. God damn, let's get out of here. Oh, that's better. It's twisting my soul. I can't, I can't be listening to those guys. I can't be doing that. They drive you crazy. Certain religions, some religions require children for their sorcery, honestly. Uh, and also for, for, you know, control of the populace, you need to maintain control of the youth. So it's, it's not just one thing. It's not just a practical, oh, yeah, it's just a prison. It's just a prison. Then why the religion? But as some people that are a, a bit learned in certain religions over the centuries know that uh, children are oftentimes required for certain uh, ceremonies, I, I guess you could say. And uh, those are only select religions, not all of them. Look, there's a reason over the years on here and on Twitch and elsewhere, a conspiracy, I mean, it is a, it is a, a hardcore conspiracy theory sort of haven i guess you could call it over the years I, which i would not argue against 
But this was not a place of the dissemination of abomination and of the methods of the wicked and of the lives of the wicked. We allude to things we talk, you know, sometimes we get heated, sometimes we joke, you know, blah, 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 blah. But there's a reason why, because there's a lot of knowledge, there's a lot of things that happen in this world that, will, that make you unclean and they do damage to you, if you even know about them. Let me put it that way. And your empathy and your psyche is very much, like, deduced. It's not, there are no, there are no secrets from uh, rulers in, in regards to how to make people tick the right, in the right direction. These are, there's no new science on the matter. Like these, there's only the execution, there's only the applica there's only applied science that'll be under the guise of something else. This was never, this was never a haven for atrocity because it's just such brutal, it's such brutal knowledge. And it's just, it's meant to do damage. And even in, even if it's, there's information that's not meant to do damage, it, it still can. And if you're not, if you're not with it in regards to how much, how much torture you can tolerate without there being uh, overt side effects, then you're going you're gonna to know. You're going to know that a lot of things are, they'll make you unclean, I'll just say it. So, again, we know, we know a lot about how the world works, but putting that stuff together and talking about it all the time is, is pretty freakish unless you have something important to say about it. So there's something to be said about all this. It's not good to really ruminate too much on the, the insane. It's just fun though. It is pretty funny. Let's talk social mores or cultural mores, okay? See these people, people that are into say interesting things, okay? Usually the result of abuse, always the result of abuse, honestly. But I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad that people are catching on, but a lot of times people miss the point. The cultural and social mores are, like, we're in hyper-sex world. This is hyper-sex world. I think if this were in the past, I mean, I don't know, a uh, hundred years, I don't know, 50 years, 60, 70, whatever, a guy would have to go out of his way to find another fellow abusee that is into interesting things at a young age. They would have to be uh, uh, sailing to an island. Now, all you gotta do is pick up your phone! because the entire generation's been wrapped. Do you understand what that means? This is hypersex world. They're not normal people, but the culture is very, very abnormal. Super, super abnormal. Insanely abnormal. Why there's, why there's so many young, uh, young boys or young girls around that are into hypersex, pre whatever the hell. We don't need to, I'm not, I'm not gonna put, num I'm not gonna worry about numbers. Why are there so many, why are there so many, of, like, there's so many available children? Why are there so many available children now that are all looking for weird stuff? Why? Why? It's not just the guy with the wig or his hair or whatever. It's not just him. There's an entire generation of youth that's been abused. It's indicative of something way bigger. Has nothing to do with, oh man, this guy's a creep. He was talking to some, some boy or whatever. He's like 14, 13. No, 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 no. It's not an isolated incident. It, it's, it's an indicator that the entire generation is wrapped. You know what that means? What else do you think happens when the culture gets ultra-sexual, hyper-sexual? What do you think? Just like fees and uh, taxes, they get passed down to the consumer. Sex gets passed down to the children in a hypersexual culture. All these people, influential to children. Why there's why there so many available children? Why there's so many uh, hypersexual children? Why, 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 why? Has nothing to do with, with this guy. Indicative of a generation of abuse. It's not a good sign. Because those, the, those that's, the next, that's the next generation. You see, with everything now, the people that are hired to make movies and video games and all this. It's a generation that got abused. Why do you think everything's like this? People that are abused wish to pass on the abuse. Who raps the rappers, though? That's what one needs to ask themselves. Rap and abuse are learned. They're learned behaviors. You guys understand? Like, hyper, hyper sex or hyper violence is a learned behavior. It's not inherent. It's generational. There are textbooks, there are blueprints, just like 1984, okay? In Brave New World. Blueprints in enslavement. Hypersexuality is required for brutal enslavement. And for a number of different reasons. Hey, this, is, this isn't a, a military academy. It's for a number of different reasons. 
it's a thing, and it's learned, and it's and it's generational, and it's passed down, and it's and it's uh, a lot of it's invisible. People don't get it. <clears throat> People don't get what it means. <clears throat> and you can say you can go to the to the the doctor or this and that. You can say this and that. And, and what people are like, oh, and numbers and age and consent and all that, every, every, the laws and this and that. The people that the people that scream the loudest and that pin and that label the heart the the loudest and that write the laws and all the consent stuff. That you, they're wor you're worried about the age of consent. Everyone's an expert in age of consent. It's 17, 18, whatever. The people that write these laws, dude. If you knew what their age was, you would hunt them. Everyone gets a fatty finger waved at them. Celebrities are made examples of. It's scripted. Whatever it is, the message is the same. It puts a message out. The people, the people that that uh, attack the most on that stuff, other than other than just normal people and, and the mob and all that. Everyone's crying about uh, the the uh, you know 17, 18, and this guy. I don't know. He was 52 when he stood. Everyone's crying about that while there's baby farms. You saw the Olympics. Raw nutsacks, kids around interesting people. Everyone's worried about this and that. Dude, are you kidding me? Dude, are you kidding me? The age, of, the age of consent for the rulers? You know what it is? It's zero. There is no age of consent. It's zero. It starts in utero. It's actually day zero. That's the age of consent for the rulers. Oh, you didn't know that? So everyone's going to be everyone's gonna be worrying about the legalese and, and all that all that stuff, making a big deal, the doc, this and that, doctor this and that, this and that, making it a big deal, big deal, children are doing sex work stuff, blah, et cetera, et cetera. I'm supposed to give a damn about all this stuff from celebrities? Go to hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. The things that are done to children, I don't give a damn what, uh, what these, what, well, just whatever the controversy is, means nothing to me. Baby farms, body parts, this and that, DNA, you know, in, in your sweeteners and all. All of these abominations go so far beyond what is, what is held up as the life ruiners for celebrities. Oh, yeah. Now, the freaks that write the laws and that, that run the media, if you knew what their age of consent was, just in the single digits, you'd be hunting them. Don't you guys get it by now? But it's not time, it's, you know, we're not going to really, you've got to cleanse yourself if you, if you kind of get into some atrocity a little bit. You kind of have to do that. You can't, you can't maintain, you just can't maintain that forever. But just know, anytime you hear any controversy and any shaming, regardless if it's with men or with women or eight, whatever it is, just know the people that write your laws and the people that run the TV, the people that, that fire you from your job, the people that'll get your, that, your Twitter, they all the, the flag people if you don't like a certain lifestyle or whatever, those are the people, their age of consent is in the single digits. Like I give a shit about what the doctor's doing. Get the fuck out of my face with that. It's unbelievable. Everyone's gonna be crying about that forever. Nah, nah. There's, there's atrocity, then there's atrocity. There's bad stuff, there's behavior, there's messed up. Like, I don't, I'm not looking to make excuses for anyone. I'm, not def I'm, I'm just not. I'm talking to it plain. I'm not here to weigh in on uh, what a guy's doing in, uh, in his personal life. It's, I'm not here to weigh in on that. Are you kidding me? And I'm not, I'm not even here to weigh in on the, you know, the, the Chris, he's text. I'm, I'm not even... I'm not even worried about that. It's, these things are indicative of much more giant problems, is what I'm saying. It's a joke. It's a joke. But it's all good. I mean, if you torture people long enough, they'll tolerate anything. If you torture people long enough, then they lose their will to fight uh, wickedness. That's why it's a slow burn. These pe pe the celebrities, they're weird. I don't, I don't expect any of these guys to be, like, no <laughs> to be, you know, normal. Or to have you know regular things, these guys these guys are crazy. But it's just it's the magnitude of the deal that everyone's made of it that is concerning in some ways, because no one no one complains like this when it's kids that are younger. People complain more when it's a 17 year old over a 17 month old. F everybody is, is what I'm saying. Like it's people don't even get it. Um, generally speaking, women don't come to bat for children. You know, 12 to 11 to what, seven, whatever. They'd be like this, ah, yeah, whatever. But the, uh, the 17, this is the biggest deal until he's gone forever. I'm saying it's so crazy. No one ever, no one ever goes to bat for the children though, do they? No, it's only making the biggest deal in history that this guy was talking to a 17 year old. No, not 17 months, 17 years. No one ever goes to bat for the kids. Ever. That should be indicative of something also. It should make you very, very nervous 
that no one goes to bat for children. But everyone will shoot the, well, you know, they'll, you know, go, they'll blast. Holy heck on the world forever. In many such cases, I mean, who, who, you can name any, any YouTubers or Twitch streamers. I mean, ha, I mean, Jesus Christ, you could pick any of them like this. Ah, that's a freak right there, you know? Obviously. Sometimes, uh, seeing the, uh, hearing the, the, the guy's voices, it makes me scream. Like, oh, who's that? What's this? What's, what's this one talking about? It's just like what we saw a half an hour ago. I'm like this. Oh, they're going to weigh in. Let's hear it. Um, well, I think... Oh. Almost scream when I hear it. Um, uh, hey, uh... Yeah, these people, they definitely, they definitely have their fan bases and, I mean, gigantic fan bases. And who, who knows, with the generation now and how hypersexualized it is, I mean, God, Jesus. I mean, look, it goes without being said. Let's, we gotta switch this up. I don't wanna, I don't wanna make it look like I'm only railing against freaks. Because I, I rail against myself. Not, I'm not saying I'm a freak. I'm just saying I don't, I don't, I have to rail against myself sometimes, too. Just to get myself to write more books. It's so crazy, man. I just can't believe it. Imagine the, the, the young generation now, the youth. I mean, oh my God. Probably, you know, it's probably four years old, five years old. It's freaking spiked collars on, full leather gimp gear. Dude, I'm surprised it's not there already. And, but I guess you could argue that it kind of is. That doesn't bode well for the future, I'll tell you. <laughs> It doesn't bode well when kids are getting sexualized. It does not bode well. It does it? It makes you think. You think easy times create bad men. Easy times create bad men. You know, no, no. Getting raped creates bad men. Doesn't anybody know this by now? It's unbelievable. Doesn't anyone know the disease, the virus, the first one? It's that. It's rap. That's the first initiation. No people get that? That's the golem maker! <sighs> you don't need a cloning facility. All you have to do is abuse people it, until they're crazy. And then you get a golem on your hands. Don't people know this by now? Twerking? Oh, damn, that's so good. Five-year-old with their own account twerking. Followers are all middle-aged men. So good. How do you beat that? <laughs> Imagine that. Gonna, gonna need a lot of millstones. Gonna need a lot of millstones. So funny. I get it though. Everyone thinks I'm making jokes about do, be, doing uh, doing sex work at five and all that shit. Everyone thinks it's it's a big joke, huh? It's all just stand up. It's all a big joke. Not, you don't think that's a real thing? You don't think you don't know rough trade? You don't you don't know that's real? You don't know that? You don't know that shit's real? You think it's a joke? Really? Do you know atrocity? You might think you don't, but you don't. Everybody's looking for s ev everyone and his brother is out looking for sex. Don't you think that's a problem? Don't you think that's a big problem? If everyone is out looking for sex, that's a big problem. Big red flag. Now do you guys, you guys just understand culture, generation level, abomination and abuse do you guys understand industrial abuse and what it does the social mores and the pornography and the sexualization in movies music tv now everybody's out looking for sex full time don't you think that's a little bit of a problem back in the day you'd have to go out of your way you'd have to be meeting you'd have to be meeting girls under the goddamn bridge somewhere and actually be ready to get killed for it now you just pick up your phone because everyone's looking for sex that's not a good sign. There are bigger problems than what everyone screams about. When you see figureheads online energized, defending one person and going after other people specifically, it's usually, they're usually very specific signs. If uh, the perpetrator is male and, let's say, white and straight, they get different treatment. Don't they? Don't they? That's how you know it's all signaling. That's how you know it's all signaling. It's an orchestrated effort to create big problems by hiding the giant ones. Otherwise, everyone would be going after. But they're not, though, are they? So that's, that's how you know it's a weapon. That's how you know it's not the truth. It's only a weapon. It's only weaponized. Weird how that works out, huh? Hmm, huh, weird. For wisdom here. Doc was hitting on a 17-year-old. He honestly belongs to, to be tortured in hell for that forever. But if she was 18... Nope, nope, then it would be okay, and then she'd have a, you know, an, an, oh, an, an only, you know what. <clears throat> hey, you pretty much summed it up right there. 
You pretty much summed it up right there. Now you understand what signaling is. Now you understand for me and for thee and what it means, the message that it sends to all, um, to all uh, straight men that look like uh, the doctor. It's a message to that demographic. What else is it? What else is it but a message to that demographic to say we're coming for you no matter what. And we'll, hey, we hate you no matter what. And if we could kill you, we would. <laughs> anyway, everyone's pretty wise to that these days, I think. It's my dad's birthday tomorrow. He'll be 62 with Parkinson's for eight years or so. Could you all pray for him? Get mo everyone needs to get mobilized. This is more important than worried about worrying about other guys, other whatever, hims or thems, their sex lives, if you want to call it sex. I think it's just, uh, it's a Wetiko, if you want to use some of those words. It's, it's inseminated abuse. Could you all pray for him? God bless everyone. And thank you, Charles, for all you do. Also, your view on David Lynch. Hey, thanks so much for that. Prayers for your dad, huh? 62, huh? Eight years? It's crazy, man. It's too bad the world is so wicked. Thanks for that. And pray for your dad. And David Lynch, I mean, I just... I don't know. I, I haven't watched any David Lynch in a while. It's all pretty extreme. The stuff that's coded in David Lynch movies and TV, like um, sex slaves and handlers and triggers and, and all that stuff, that whole that whole side of the military. People are people are pretty wise to that now. Remember the cow, remember the cowboy, the cowboy handler from Fire Fire Walk with me. All these guys doing codes, using codes to to like uh, to to give instructions and courier messages. The most hardcore conspiracies there are are that super soldiers. That's what David Lynch writes about. He writes about how, how to make golems, how to control golems, how to how to get molested by your dad. Your dad's molesting you. <laughs> So good. <laughs> so good. And I understand it. You know what I mean? Like, I, hey, I read about it too. It's, you know, ever since Frankenstein, there, there are more similarities with Frankenstein and Dracula and, um, and, some, and f let's say Fire Walk With Me. They're, they're the same story. It's mind, mind control through abuse. That's all. That's his forte. We've been talking about this for a long time. I try not to rave about it, though, because people really like David Lynch, and hey, so do I. I'm just saying. They're, ve they're very similar. Frankenstein, Fire Walk With Me, and the Twin Peaks universe are more similar than you think. That's the darkest, that's the darkest stuff. These people are compelled to make their art about it. They, all they do is signal messages to each other. Like, they're like this. Okay, I'm putting this guy in here. He me back when I got started in these movies there. More wind. He me when I got started. In More wind. That's, that's the sorcery of it. These people tell their stories. They tell the story of their initiation into the mystery school. What else do you think it is? What do you think it's imagination? You think he just came up with that stuff? You think these guys just came up with that stuff? Yo, this, 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 uh, yeah, he's by our father for all these years. And he, it turns out he was by the sky. He said, it, he even said he came inside of me. And that's when I had Bob inside of me. He, he, they spell it out for ya. He spells it out for you. They spell it out for you. What, do you think they made that up? No. No, no. That stuff's not made up. It's real. That's all. But no, his stuff is fun. You know, it's fun to watch. It's crazy. It's, you know, he knows, hey, it's David Lynch. I mean, what the hell else do you need to say? It's freaking David Lynch. Exposing it. I mean, I hear you. Someone from Hollywood exposing things? That's an interesting theory. That's an interesting theory. Dude, you get your job in the first place by perpetrating those things. And I'm not, I'm not speaking for, for directors and Lynch, anyone specifically, I'm just saying. Hollywood directors, they're not filmmakers. Don't, do people get this by now? Hollywood directors are not filmmakers. They're sorcerers. They're wizards. They're not Filmmakers. Cinema is sorcery. It's hypnosis. They're not filmmakers. They're the court magicians. Do people get this yet? It's crazy. They direct the, the hypersexuality that uh, plagues our, our uh, youth now. They create that with repetition and illusion. Very easy to do. You see it right now. It's very easy to get away with. Look at the machine. What do you want me to say? What else can be said about this? Yeah, hey, what's up, Caesar? Yeah, I did like the white horse from TriStar Pictures. I like the, the homage to TriStar Pictures at the opening ceremony yesterday. 
<laughs> so embarrassing, these people, this religion. <clears throat> I thought these people hated uh, everything, Christianity and this and that. Why are they, why are they doing gospel? Well, not, no, I mean, yeah, I guess it's not exactly a gospel. It's just so weird how they, they're obsessed with this stuff. When they, when they hate Christianity, they hate religion, they're this and that. They're, at the same time, the most religious freaks in the world. And they're obsessed with Christian and, and else, you know, Abrahamic, whatever. Pretty obsessed with the Bible. At least we saw in Paris, they're pretty obsessed with the Bible. Obsessed, 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 obsessed with the Bible. Obsessed with Jesus Christ. Obsessed with Christians. Obsessed, 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 obsessed. 24-7 non-stop thinking about Christians and Christ and the Bible. Non-stop! Obsessed! <laughs>